Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's do-it-yourself video, we're going to be showing you how to replace the rear trailing arm bushings, commonly called RTABs, on a BMW 3 Series from 92 through 05. This would be the E36 and E46 chassis. Now this procedure will also apply to the E85 and E86 Z4 Roadster and Coupe models, as well as the E83 X3. Now there are some various options on the bushings available for these applications and we'll show you those differences on the video. Let's take a look at them now. Okay, here you see an assortment of the various different parts and tools we'll use for the rear trailing arm bushing replacement. The first thing we have is the removal and replacement tool. This is required to remove the original bushings and install some of the other bushings. We have various different types of anti-seize compound. We have aluminum, we have copper, whichever is your preference. Now on the bushings, we have a choice of original equipment style replacements in various different brands. These do require the tool to be put back in. We have the PowerFlex urethane trailing arm bushings. These do not require the tool for installation, but you will still need it for the removal of the original. We'll use some of the anti-seize compound to install these. It does come with a small amount. We have the Bavarian Auto Sport urethane bushings, very similar to the PowerFlex. These will be a slightly softer urethane compound than the PowerFlex. And finally, we have the ultimate trailing arm bushings, which are a machined metal housing with an articulated ball joint inside. These are great for super control for high performance street or track use. These will require the press tool to be reinstalled as well. Now let's go ahead and get to this job and we'll see how to do this. We'll be replacing the trailing arm bushings on this E36 M3. The rear hub is integral with the trailing arm and the forward bushing is mounted to a bracket that inserts up into the chassis here using three mounting bolts. To replace the bushing, we'll need to remove the bushing and the bracket from the chassis. Here we're looking up from the middle of the car toward the left side trailing arm and bushing. Note the three mounting bolts. The rear toe is adjusted by loosening the mounting bolts and sliding the bracket left and right. Before we loosen the mounting bolts, we'll mark the current position of the bracket so we can reassemble in the same position. We'll use a paint touch-up pen to trace around the bolt heads. Using an 18 millimeter socket, we'll loosen all of the bolts. The mounting bracket is now free to move. Note how the toe adjustment marks have moved as well. In order to allow the front of the trailing arm to be pulled down from the chassis, we'll remove the two mounting bolts from the brake support line. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts. brake line can now freely float while we pull the trailing arm down. Place a jack under the trailing arm. If you're working on jack stands, your floor jack should be used to support the arm. We can now fully remove the three mounting bolts. The forward mount is now free and we can lower it from the chassis. Slowly lower the jack until the arm is hanging freely. We like to place a block of wood between the arm and the chassis in order to keep the front end of the arm and the bushing below the rocker panel. The bushing bracket mounting bolt and nut may be rusty. Spray the nut and bolt with the Mechanical Penetrant before attempting to loosen the nut. Use an 18 millimeter socket and combination wrench to loosen and remove the bracket, bolt, and nut.
remove the nut and pull the bolt out of the bushing and bracket. Lift the bracket off the bushing. Note how the bracket is oriented over the bushing. Now we're ready to press the bushing out of the arm. Note that the bushing has a flange on the outer side only. Some applications will not have any flanges, like this new replacement bushing. The flangeless bushings can be removed or installed from either direction. However, the flanged bushings must be removed toward the outside of the vehicle. We'll use a trailing arm bushing press tool to remove the original bushing. This tool is available at bavauto.com. Note that this tool is designed to remove both the flanged and the flangeless bushings. The two legs of the tool fit into the flange cutouts on flanged bushings. Fit the tool into the flange cutouts so that the bushing can be pulled out toward the outside of the vehicle. Insert the threaded pulling rod Thread the polar block onto the end of the rod and seat the polar block in the middle of the bushing. Use a box end wrench to pull the polar block and bushing through the trailing arm eye. Note that if the bushing is especially stubborn, heating the trailing arm eye with a torch can help the removal of the bushing. When the bushing is free of the trailing arm eye, remove the pressing tool and the bushing. Clean the inner bore of the eye using a scraper, abrasive pad, or emery paper to remove rust and corrosion. Here, we'll illustrate the installation of a typical urethane trailing arm bushing set. Note the two halves that install from both sides, as well as the steel through sleeve. This is a PowerFlex urethane bushing available from BavAuto.com. Prior to the installation, coat the circumference and the inner face of the bushing halves with copper anti-seize compound. We'll also coat the inner bore of the bushings and the mounting eye. Install the two bushing halves and then the steel center sleeve. We're showing these without lubrication as we'll be performing the final install with a different bushing type. If you're installing a standard replacement bushing, it will likely be a flangeless type. This can be installed from either direction. We'll use the bushing press tool to install the new bushing in the reverse procedure from removing the original. Install the new bushing with the outer sleeve splits at 12 and 6 o'clock. Insert the bushing into the eye and assemble the pressing tool to pull the bushing into the eye. Use the box end wrench to pull the bushing through the eye until it is centered in the eye. Again, we will remove this bushing as we have a final bushing type to illustrate, and this is what we will be fully installing into the vehicle. Our final installation will be to install these ultimate trailing arm bushings, which have spherical bearings inside the bushing housing. These bearings utilize an articulated ball joint mounted in an aluminum housing. The housing mounts into the trailing arm mounting eye. We'll use the bushing press tool to install the bearing assembly into the eye.
Use the box end wrench to draw the bearing into the eye until the outer flange is fully seated. and remove the pressing tool. Install the inner flange to the bearing assembly. Insert the three screws through the inner flange and into the bearing housing. Tighten the three screws using the Allen tool. Install the mounting bracket to the bearing assembly. Apply copper anti-seize to the bracket mounting bolt and insert the bolt through the bracket and bearing. Install the nut to the bolt and tighten to the applicable torque as noted in the Bentley Repair Manual for your model. Use the floor jack to position the arm, bearing, and bracket back up into the chassis mounting point. Apply copper anti-seize to the three mounting bolts and install them into the chassis. Remove the jack and run the bolts in just short of beginning to tighten. This way we can adjust the mounting plate position. Use a tool to pry the mounting plate so that the toe alignment marks are centered on all three bolt heads. Lightly tighten all three bolts assuring that the alignment marks stay centered on the bolt heads. Tighten and torque the bolts to the values noted in the applicable Bentley repair manual. Install the two brake line mounting bolts. Well that's it, we're done with this side, we can now replace the bushing on the opposite side and we're done with this job. Okay, so now you can see that that job isn't too bad as long as you have the special puller tool to get the old bushings out and depending on which bushings you're installing, possibly to get the new ones back in. These parts and tools are available in our online store at bavauto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002 for personal assistance with your job. Now, if you've liked this video, please hit your like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Now, thanks for watching and we're going to be off to do another do-it-yourself video.